today's topic is strategic planning and uh, best practices for information governance. And the problem in this area isn't the storage of information. It is the sorting out the useful information that actually can benefit the business process. And in order to do that, we need a strategy. When creating a strategy, there are a couple of things to keep in mind. F first one is uh, to leverage the pre-existing work, like maturity models. They give you excellent uh, framework uh, with uh, maturity levels from very low to very high and uh, cover the, uh, all the essential topics of the organization, like accountability, transparency, integrity, uh, protection, uh, compliance, uh, availability, retention and disposition. So it is an excellent basis for a new strategy. Second uh, aspect to keep in mind is that each strategy is unique. A uh, strategy that uh, fits for a large company isn't suitable for a small company. For example, large company might uh, have information governance as a separate layer, while the, it makes much more sense uh, in case of small company to divide the information governance task amongst the employees. Third aspect is that uh, information governance requires a paradigm shift. Some of it might be quite easy, uh, for example creating a rule, set of rules and then uh, implementing them, then creating uh, references where does the information come from, what is being done to it and where does it go. But some of it might be actually quite complicated like uh, capturing information at its sources because uh, people like to save uh, data in their personal computers or, and uh, mails and mailboxes. And uh, for organization, it might be actually quite difficult uh, to capture it from there. And uh, information governance should be integrated into uh, pre-existing workflows. So it wouldn't seem as much of a hassle of uh, using it uh, than uh, it might seem. Fourth aspect to keep in mind is that uh, you need the support from top management. Preferably, top management should uh, take the responsibility for uh, information governance implementation and they should take the lead of implementing it. Other than that, information governance is a typical strategy. It has uh, five levels, management, people, processes, uh, technology and indicators. And uh, steps for creating it are actually quite simple. First step is uh, mapping out existing situation, determining the maturity level of organization. Then, based on that, creating a information governance model that's specific for this organization. Third step is uh, creating a business case and then testing the model. And uh, if the model doesn't work, then you need to reiterate it. And the final step is creating an implementation plan. It's simple as that. Thank you.